informational video is focused on solar powered water pumping systems for tenant farmers on rented ground and for systems designed for use in freeze free months. Let's get started. Step one is to determine your water requirement needs. Determine your daily water requirement needs for your specific livestock. Consider your unique site factors, time of year, feed, age, and weight of livestock. Also use online resources like tables and charts to help you determine your water requirements for different livestock groups. Next is step two, evaluate the water source. What is your water source? Is it a river, stream, pond, or well? Next, you need to consider quantity. Do you have enough water to exceed the rate of recharge? Also consider your water quantity during different times of the year. Lastly, you need to consider is your water source affected by high water events? If you have your pump in a stream that floods, will it affect the equipment? Let's also consider quality. Is there silt, sand, or organic matter in your water source that could affect equipment or livestock needs? Lastly, be sure to understand regulations concerning using water from this source. Next is step three. Let's consider the system layout. There are six main components you will need to consider. Water source, pump, solar array, reservoir, trobs, and pipeline routing. Additionally, you will want to think about system layout configuration options, each in terms of their location, elevation from source to storage and storage to troughs, along with slope length. Google Earth can be a good online tool to help you with this planning. Lastly, remember safety considerations as you evaluate layout options. The information and demonstration systems are to help enhance pasture management options and exclude livestock from surface streams where permanent water system installation is not currently a possibility for a location. Let's move on to step four, determining water storage requirements. Always plan for worst case scenario. Components can break, so plan for water storage capacity within the system. A good general recommendation is to plan for three days worth of water. This can be figured by storage requirements equal daily water requirements times three. Okay, step five. Let's determine the solar resource for your site. Site solar insulation helps you determine how much of the sun's energy will reach your PV or solar panels. This information can help calculate wattage, which you will need the appropriate amount to power your system. A good source to determine solar insulation for a site is the free online calculator called PV Watts from the U.S. Department of Energy. You will also need to consider site shading analysis by using a solar pathfinder. This device can provide you a full year's worth of solar and shade data all at once. Let's move on to step six. Determine design flow rate for pump. Determine flow rate for your pump by dividing daily water needs by peak sun hours. Let's use a simple calculation. Flow, or gallons per minute, equals daily water requirements, gallons per day, divided by peak sun hours, times 60 minutes per hour. Let's do a quick example. Let's say I needed 1,080 gallons of water for my livestock a day, and I had six peak sun hours. Take the gallons divided by sun hours times 60, which will give you a required flow rate of three gallons per minute. Where possible, a properly designed permanent watering system is generally recommended and needed for year-round usage. Please contact your local USDA service center to explore options for a permanent installation. Moving along to step seven, determine total dynamic head. Total dynamic head of a solar water system needs to be considered to determine the size of pumping equipment required. Some things to consider are vertical lift, which is the distance from the surface of the water to the storage, pressure head, any required pressure for controls, pressure tank, etc., and friction losses from pipe size, material, and flow rate. Step eight, determine power requirements for your selected pump. You will need to select the best pump for your application based on design flow rate, total dynamic head, and pump curves. 
pump curves give you information to help you determine the pump's capacity to produce adequate flow under conditions that affect a pump's performance. Step 9. Determine Solar Array Components and Configuration Select panels based on system requirements. A recommendation is to oversize panels by 1.25 times. Verify that power, voltage, and amperage ranges are suitable for all system components, including controllers and pump motors. Lastly is step 10. Verify system pressure and flow at delivery points. Make sure sufficient pressures are present at delivery points, such as reservoirs and troughs. Also, pressures need to be adequate to operate valves and float switches. When gravity is used to feed water from the reservoirs to the troughs, design enough vertical drop to offset pipe frictions and meet PSI requirements. And there you have it, the 10 steps to setting up a solar water system for your livestock. For more information, please reach out to your local extension agent.